Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista from Hebert's Down Home. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love to have you click that subscribe button down below. So today I thought that I would share with you, I'm, I'm jumping in to a big um, freezer meal, food prep, um, batch cooking weekend for our family of 10 for the month of April. Things have been super crazy around here and it's getting into that season where we just wanna live outside and not in the kitchen. You can hear the vacuum in the background. I got kids vacuuming, but hey, I gotta smile at that sound. I'm not the one running the vacuum, right? Um, anyway, and you can see part of my haul left over behind me here that we haven't gotten put away yet. So today's Friday and I am getting started but uh, not jumping in heavy until tomorrow. But what I'm gonna do today is I am going to get this Instant Pot just going, going, going. I'm cooking up a whole bunch of ground beef in here. Um, I have done ground beef frozen in the Instant Pot before. This time it's thawed ground beef, so it won't take quite as long, which is helpful. Um, and I'm just gonna keep that Instant Pot going today and getting the ground beef all cooked up, kind of pre-prepping for the freezer cooking. Um, and that will be helpful for tomorrow so I can just throw a lot of recipes together as quickly as I can. So probably tomorrow, Saturday when I start, I will give you guys kind of the rundown of what all the food is that I'm making. Today I'm just prepping the meat. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you can often see what we're having for supper if you're kind of interested in following along and seeing what our family of 10 is eating that night. Um, you are welcome to do that. I will put a link down in the description box below to my Instagram and I would love to have you follow me over there as well. So I'm gonna get this meat into the Instant Pot, get it going and keep it going all day long while I'm doing my cleaning and all the other things that I need to get done so that I have tomorrow free to do all this cooking. This is about five and a half pounds and I am gonna cook half of this at a time. Two and a half pounds at a time is about what I like to do in my Instant Pot. This, like I said, is thawed. Sometimes I do it frozen. And for thawed, about two and a half pounds, I'm going to do it on high for um, 17 minutes is what I have figured out to be my magic number. You guys are gonna have to experiment a little bit. Okay, so the hamburger meat is done. I let it slow release, so until the little button is down, and it is, so we're gonna open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it cooked down to, and I'm gonna pull it out now and show you what I do next. This is my absolute favorite newest kitchen gadget. I've had this for, well, since I got the Instant Pot, people suggested this and I love it for breaking up the ground beef after I cook it in the Instant Pot. It goes really quick and easy. So here's, this is two and a half pounds and it does not look like it because it is so compacted in there. And I just, I can't do this one handed, but I am doing it one handed. But I just kind of twist, <laughs> it's turning my, oh, my camera is getting fogged up, guys. I'm gonna have to, back off here because it's steaming up but anyway you guys get the gist of it and then you know it looks like a lot more meat if it is just a little bit pink it looks like it on the camera but it doesn't look like it to me in real life um, but if it's just a little bit pink sometimes I'll just pop it in the microwave for a couple of minutes all right there goes my next alarm so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning friends. It is Saturday morning. Um, gosh, it's already after 10. Um, I got the kids breakfast and got a few things started in the kitchen, but I have not gotten started as early as I had hoped. Yesterday I did get to cook up 15 pounds of um, ground beef in the Instant Pot. So that was a great start and that's gonna help me out a lot this morning with all of my recipes. I just thought that I would go through kind of the rundown, the list with you of what all I'm trying to make and prep and do um, so that you kind of have an idea. I'm gonna give you updates throughout my day, but I am not necessarily gonna have you follow along on the whole thing because that's just gonna be, first of all, hard for me to do. Um, it's gonna slow me way down. Um, so although I love spending time with y'all, I'm sorry, but I'll give you updates throughout the day how things are going, where we're at. So um, my first thing that I did this morning was I got some spaghetti sauce going in the crock pot. So I just, I bought one of these cans of spaghetti sauce at Sam's Club. 
just added some spices to it, onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasonings, minced onion, that sort of thing. And I got that going in the crock pot. So that's happening already this morning and that's gonna be for lazy lasagna I'm gonna make as well as for spaghetti. Um, and you know, I was thinking that I would just do the spaghetti sauce and then I thought, no, I really want the noodles and everything in there and I'll just pull it out as a freezer meal and heat it back up. It's mozzarella cheese on the top. That'll be really good and easy. So I'm doing two batches of lasagna, or sorry, two batches of lazy lasagna, two batches of spaghetti. So what I do then is I split it up Sorry, I just am noticing like cabinet doors open behind me. The, the kitchen's just gonna be a bomb. That's all there is to it today. I'm gonna do my best to kind of take breaks and clean up and try again, but that's just how it's gonna go down. So I'm gonna do it over here because the lighting is better and you can't see all my mess behind me. Anyway, okay, so two batches of spaghetti, two batches of lazy lasagna. I'll do one in the first couple weeks, one in the second couple weeks, that sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna do a batch of sloppy joes for the kids, um, two batches of taco meat, hamburgers I'm gonna do twice, we already did once last night, so we're gonna do the second batch of hamburgers, so I'll just make up some hamburger patties, have those ready to go. Um, I'm gonna do one batch of meatballs and two meatloafs, so we can have those. Uh, taco salad we'll have twice, that's usually our Sunday noon meal, along with we'll alternate that between that and sub sandwiches. And then we're gonna do Tuscan cream chicken once, um, the dreamy chicken lazone once, and four times we're gonna do pizza. So Friday night is normally the night that we order pizza um, because we can do that fairly cheaply for our large family for around between 25 and $30. We can get a really good deal. We can get it down to 22 or so. Um, that's kind of our go-to, but as I told you guys before, we're trying to stay out of the restaurants this month, kind of do a little challenge, save a little bit of money that way, so we're gonna be making our own pizzas. So we'll do pizza four times, because we'll do it, that on Friday nights. Um, I'm gonna do a bacon-wrapped chicken that the kids really love. I'm gonna go ahead and prep that. I'm gonna go ahead and get that chicken, the raw chicken, wrapped with the bacon, the spices on it, and throw it in the freezer, and that way I can just grab those frozen and go ahead and just cook that up without having to have the mess. Um, I'm gonna do grilled chicken, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that marinated and thrown in the freezer, so I just have to pull it out. It's already marinated, ready to throw on the grill. Um, chicken drummies, I'm not gonna do anything with those ahead of time um, because I just decided not to, I guess. Uh, chicken chimneys, I'm gonna do two batches of that. I'm just gonna make the insides of the chimneys, so I'll just have the chicken meat all cooked up and ready with all of the cream cheesy filling gooey goodness in there and then um, I'll put it in the tortillas. I'll thaw that out and then I'll put it into the tortillas. We're gonna do chicken bacon ranch casserole, so that'll be all ready. S salmon patties and tuna patties are not something I'm prepping ahead, but it's something that I have on the list. And then we're gonna do some barbecue pork sandwiches, so I could go ahead and throw some barbecue pork, or some pork, not barbecue, pork in the crock pot and get that cooked up ahead of time. Um, and then the other half of that pork loin, that huge pork loin that I got from Sam's Club, I'm going to make into pork loin chops. So I can get that ready and actually go ahead and marinate that as well so that it's ready to grill um, whenever we wanna grill. So we like to grill maybe on the weekends when Monty is home and has a little bit more time. He is the grill master. I do not pay enough attention to the grill and tend to burn things and such. So anyway, I'm not the greatest at grilling. Um, so that is sort of the rundown of all the meals that I am prepping and making. Sorry, I'm like turning my camera sideways. Um, so that's a rundown of kind of all the meals that I am prepping and making and getting ready um, for this month. I am going to start today, I'm focusing on the ground beef meals because I already cooked up the ground beef. My chicken has a little bit later expiration date that I get from Sam, so it can sit in the fridge a couple days longer and be okay. Um, and so I will deal with that hopefully tomorrow um, and Monday or something to that effect. Um, I don't wanna fill up my day too hard tomorrow because we have church and all the things. So I'm gonna really focus on the ground beef stuff today. If I can get a little bit of help in here this evening, maybe Monty will uh, be able to help me after the kids go to bed, we could maybe bang out some of the chicken, literally, like bang it. <laughs> so the chicken that I get from Sam's Club is really thick chicken breasts, and so I like to pound it down and make it thinner, especially if we're gonna grill it because we can't, the chicken breasts that are so thick just never get done in the middle when we grill. Um, and so 
I always pound all that down. I'm gonna cut up some of that chicken ahead of time. Like for the Tuscan cream chicken, it calls for chicken tenders, and I go ahead and buy the chicken breasts because they're cheaper. Pound them down, cut them up into the chicken tender sizes, and then just use it that way. So that's some of the things that I need to do with the chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the ground beef stuff, and I will check back in with you guys in just a little while. It is 5.15. Um, we finished up at about, well, at about three o'clock, I finished up the main part of the freezer cooking. My kids actually pitched in, my oldest two, they cut up chicken, they did all kinds of things. We threw together different recipes, they got marinades going on. They were super, super, super helpful. So I got a lot done and I even got some cleanup done. The kitchen doesn't look terrible. There's a whole pile of clean dishes to put away. But there's not too many dirty dishes left. And um, Monty actually just got back from Walmart um, doing my last, another Walmart pickup because I didn't have these chickens that I needed. So I'm throwing them right now into the Instant Pot, getting them going. I have two recipes to make tomorrow. I have the chicken bacon ranch casseroles to make. I'm making two of those, so that's easy. Just throw it all together. Um, and then I'm also doing spaghetti, and I already made my sauce today. I just have to add my meat in, cook up my noodles, throw it all together, put some cheese on the top, and throw it in the um, freezer. So we fared really, really well today. I was thankful for all of the help. Um, basically, Let's see, we went from, started at 10, ended about three, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, five hours of hefty freezer cooking with three of us in the kitchen.